Friends, welcome to my workplace at Ranaghat, West Bengal, India. This is a white cataract with fibrosis beneath the anterior capsule. Let us observe this surgery. This is the main incision with a 2.8 millimeter steel keratome on the posterior aspect of the limbus. This is a side port on the right side of the main incision. And now, the anterior capsule is to be stained with tripan blue dye. I always use an air bubble to fill off the anterior chamber and under this air bubble the tripan blue dye is applied. The advantage is the dye is undiluted by the aqueous and it stains the anterior capsule very fast. The dye is washed out with a Simcoe cannula and now the anterior chamber is filled up with 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose and we can see fibrosis beneath the anterior capsule at the center and it is going towards 4 o'clock and 5 o'clock. I use a cystitome in this case to raise a capsular tag and now I go anticlockwise and as I reach 4 o'clock I find that the capsule is adherent to the I give intermittent pull and it is a very small rexis it is not enough for nucleus management inject some more visco and now my plan is if I can separate the fibrous tissue from the anterior capsule. But see what has happened. The anterior capsule has given way, and here I try to. Yes, and I have been able to bring back the anterior capsule. The fibrous tissue is remaining there. I make a neck at this point and make the rexis okay. Now hydrodissection is done. and the nucleus is made free from the capsule. You can see that the nucleus is rotating nicely. Some more visco in the anterior chamber and now going to trim this fibrous tissue. It is done. And now is the time to introduce the tip of the FECO needle. The machine being used is Oatly Cataract 3. The exposed part of the tip is adequate. The nucleus is quite hard you can see the brown tinge of the nucleus you can see this is grade 4 nuclear sclerosis and now the tip is buried into the substance of the nucleus and the tip goes towards the opposite equator 
and I try to chop this nucleus. But I could not. Ultimately, I got a very nice crack. Do some more sculpts to go to a deeper plane. Rotate on 180 degree and along the initial crack I could divide the nucleus completely into two parts one larger part this is the larger part I'm planning to divide this part into three pieces this is one and this piece is being emulsified to make some room for the other piece to be mobile and this piece is also divided into pieces and now this is the endonucleus it is removed then the two pieces are emulsified ultrasonic energy from the very beginning is 80 percent in continuous mode flow rate is 45 ml per minute. Vacuum is 450 millimeter of mercury. And this is a small part of the nucleus. It is divided into two pieces and they are emulsified and removed. The antechamber is very stable. Junule is okay in this case. At this time, during emulsification of the last piece, we can decrease the vacuum and flow rate. But in this case, yes, at this time, I used only 100 millimeter of mercury vacuum and 20% flow rate and 20 ml per minute flow rate. Now, cortical cleanup is done. I used a Simco cannula to remove from the cortex. Going through the side port, I remove the subincisional cortex. And now What has happened in this case is during hydro implantation the nucleus is upside down. Now to flip the nucleus I uh, used visco 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose. Then I used two Sinsky hooks flipped the nucleus and placed the flipped the intraocular lens and placed the lens in the capsular bag. And now visco was cleaned nicely. We are towards the end of the surgery. Visco was cleaned nicely with bimanual irrigation aspiration 300 millimeter of mercury vacuum and 30 ml per minute flow rate this is a bit of moxifloxacin the side ports are closed by hydrating corneal stroma with the 27 gauge cannula and basis The antechamber is nicely formed and the case is concluded. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills. It will inspire you to take off challenging cases and face the challenges boldly 
and with great competence.